Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our lecture today is about syphilis. I am Dr. Sharif Rafat Muhammad Ismail, lecturer of Dermatology and Drology, Dermatology Department, Mansoura University. The learning outcome in our lecture include define and clarify the causative organism of syphilis, clarify the histopathology pathogenesis of syphilis, know the serological test of syphilis, mention type of syphilis and its special type of chancre, differentiate between chancre and chancroid, know the difference between condyloma lata and condyloma acuminata, differentiate between stigmata of early and delayed perinatal syphilis, enumerate treatment modalities of syphilis and its alternatives. The content will include definition, causative organism, pathogenesis, histopathology, serological test, classification, and management of syphilis. We will start by the definition and the causative organism of syphilis, which is the first content. Syphilis is a chronic contagious infection caused by tribumnema pallidum and it transferred to the fetus is a congenitally acquired infection and it responds to penicillin. It is sensitive to penicillin. The causative organism is Tribumnema pallidum. The organism which is Tribumnema pallidum, it is a thin delicate spirochete, spiral shaped bacteria made of many narrow regular coils its type of motility has two types of movement, either locomotion or a change of shape flexion movement of the whole body. Tribumnema pallidum is not stained by ordinary reagent and could be visible only by dark ground microscopy to observe its movement. The important knowledge here that Tribumnema pallidum is never being cultured on artificial media but it can be grown only in animal inoculation, intratesticular, intradermal, dermal inoculation, rabs, rabbits, large apes, hemisters. It's a very, very weak organism. It's fragile and destroyed by dryness, heat, and mild antiseptic, even the soup. Here is the spirochete organism which is the Tribumnema pallidum and its coils. The types of Tribumnema, which is the causative organism of syphilis, the pathogenic strain Tribumnema cartium of Benta, Tribumnema endemicus of Bigil, trib Tribumnema bertoni of Yaus, and Tribumnema pallidum of syphilis. And also there are non-pathogenic strains which include Tribumnema macrodantum and microdantum. The important knowledge here is to know that the non-pathogenic strains which is Tribumnema macrodantum and microdantum are present in the oral mucosa. So when to do dark ground examination for the oral lesion we will never do it from the oral lesions because there are non-pathogenic strains which are Tribumnema macrodantum and microdantum. So dark ground examination for oral lesions should be avoided. Pathogenesis of syphilis. The organism enters through the skin or intact mucosal membrane the first lesion is due to the local inflammatory reaction at the site of entry, which is the shankar, and we will explain it later on the next slides. The organism then multiplies in the blood and the lymphatic system and attacks the skin, mucous membrane, and all organs, and this stage represents the stage of secondary syphilis or stage of generalization. In untreated patients, the body immunity will overcome this spirochete, but not all of them are killed, and some remain dominant in the lymph gland and virus or organs, and the patient enters the stage of latency, which represents 3 to 10 years, during which there are no signs. At the end of this latent period, and due to unknown cause, the body will develop a state of hypersensitivity 
toward this remaining spirochete and could, which result into the gamma malignant syphilis and tendency to destruction and replacement by non-contractile fibrous tissue. Long-standing immunity following the infection after treatment does not occur and repeated infections are possible. Again, the course of untreated syphilis, as we say before, after the incubation period of syphilis, which is 9 to 90 days, the first lesions which will appear is the shankar with lymphadenopathy, then the second stage appear after 6 to 12 weeks, then the signs disappear, but the serology remain positive, including the early latent syphilis in the first two years. But about 25% of patients developed secondary relapse within the first two years. The histopathology of syphilis, which is very important to know. The histopathology of syphilis includes the basic change are essentially the same in all stages of syphilis. This is the histopathology of syphilis, which is very, very, very important to know the histopathology of syphilis and to study it. At first, in the arthritis of the trans, it is endocelial proliferation, which includes a small blood vessel resulting in loss of epithelium and the erosion in primary lesion of syphilis, mucosal ulceration in secondary syphilis, tissue destruction and ulceration in gamma, cardiovascular and neurocephalus. Brevascular infiltrate, which is the second, op second line, including brevascular infiltration by lymphocyte, macrophage, many plasma cells, and in late secondary and tertiary syphilis, a granulomatous infiltrate of epithelioid and giant cell is usually found. Then, the fibroblast activity lead to healing with fibrosis, scarring, and deformity, which is marked in late syphilis. In primary and secondary stage of syphilis, the causative organism, which is Tribuminima pallidum, can often be demonstrated by silver staining or fluorescence and the butt staining of the tissue section. The histopathology of syphilis is very, very important knowledge to know how it's the three, again, basic change in the arthritis of the trans, perivascular infiltrate, and fibroblast activity. Serological test of syphilis. The syphilitic infection gives rise to a variety of circulating antibodies, include antilipodial reagene, which is non-specific, and tribuminal antibody specific. So the serological tests are of two types. The first is non-tribuminal or reagene test, which is non-specific, and the second is tribuminal test, which is specific. non tribuminal or reagene test will include the following. This test measures the antibodies formed in response to products of tissue destruction. Reagene tests are of two types. The first is complement fixation test, such as Wasserman reaction. The second is flocculation test, such as CAN test, and but the most famous is VDRL which is Venereal Disease Research Laboratory Test, and RPR, which is Rapid Plasma Reagene. So, there are Wasserman Reaction, VDRL, and Rapid Plasma Reagene. The Reagene test becomes positive after 5 to 8 weeks following the infection, 100% positive in the second stage, and 70 to 90% of case of tertiary stage, they are non-specific, and the reactive reagent test must always be confirmed by one of the specific. The VDRL can be done quantitative or tetrid, should be done up for the treatment follow-up. The four-fold decrease in the antibody test includes successful treatment, while a four-fold increase indicate relapse or reinfection. The effective therapy in early syphilis can cause zero negativity after six months to one year. Tribuminal tests, which are specific tests, but once positive, they also usually remain positive for all life. 
it include TBI terbumnima pallidum immobilization test, TBHA terbumnima pallidum him agglutination test, FTA fluorescence terbumnima antibody, FTA ABS fluorescence terbumnima antibody absorption test, and lastly FTA ABS 19S IgM which is restricted to the in case of congenital syphilis. Value of serological test of syphilis include VDRL and TBHA are the most commonly used test. VDRL is used for the initial screening but it's not conclusive. So if it is positive we will do TBHA which is used as confirmatory. For follow up after the treatment VDRL is used as it's a tetra decline with the therapy. TBHA could not be used because again the specific test once positive, always positive. There are biologically false positive reaction, a resistant or transient positive reagent test in the absence of reactive specific test can cause and occur in non syphilitic lesion as acute and chronic. Acute like mycoplasma pneumonia, glandular fever, measles and viral hepatitis it may occur in pregnancy and malaria chronic biological false positive chronic infection stb leprosy autoimmune disease intravenous drug abuse malignancy hepatic cirrhosis and the hiv infected baby this is very important to know the identif the identification of syphilis very very important to know that dark ground examination the exudate from lesions of early syphilis or from the lymph node, stain smear, sulfur stains appear faint pink, immune fluorescence and electron microscopy to show the axial bundle surrounded by a number of spirally one fibrils which may be responsible for turbomnima pallidum motility. This is the dark field microscopy of turbomnima pallidum. It appears white in a dark field this is the immune fluorescence of terbumnima pallidum and terbumnima pallidum by silver stain. Classification of cell acquired and congenital acquired early and delayed early infectious first two years primary secondary recurrent and early latent late non infectious after two years late latent tertiary stage cardiovascular and neurocephalus Congenital syphilis like the acquired early, early, infectious like the acquired type, first two years, first two years, and it is similar to secondary stage of acquired syphilis. The late, which is non infectious, after two years, and it is similar to the tertiary stage of syphilis. Stigmata, which is the permanent scars of previous syphilitic. Very, very important knowledge. To know the classification of syphilis. Classification of syphilis is very 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 important to know this knowledge. There are two major type of infections which is acquired syphilis and congenital syphilis. Again acquired syphilis infection pass into the following stage early first two years infectious include primary type which is chancre, secondary skin rash, mucus patch, condyloma later, generalized lymph node enlargement early latent no clinical manifestation but infectious very very important to know the classification the late type after two years generally non-infectious include late latent no clinical manifestation not infectious except for blood board tertiary cardiovascular and neurocephalus prenatal or congenital syphilis infectious pass into the following stage early late and stigmata so again and again it is very very important to know the classification of syphilis. Acquired syphilis, mode of infection, sexual intercourse or non-venereal like direct and indirect secretion, needle prick and it is a very very weak organism. The incubation period is 9 to 90 days. Here is the hallmark of this stage is called chancre, which is very, very important to know. 
the diagnostic feature of Shankar of the primary stage and its clinical characters very very important knowledge to know the clinical characters of Shankar it is a single painless genital ulcer single painless genital ulcer solitary painless nodule that soon ulcerate forming a painless ulcer within the following criteria it is oval or rounded with eroded surface one to three centimeter in diameter it is a well-defined edge and the slope to the floor giving a saucer like appearance the floor is clean and the fleshy in color with a yellow gray exudate and the base is indurated like a button it exudate clear serum on manipulation and it persists for one to five weeks and then heal spontaneously with thin atrophic scar it's very 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 important knowledge to know the clinical characters of shankar very important shankar can be occur at site of inoculation which may be genital site in men like glands penis coronal sulcus shaft of penis scrotum intramural in the canal in homosexual genital sites in women cervix is the common site of primary lesion in women other sites include libia majora and minora regions of forehead clitoris urethral orifice vagina mons pubis and the anal canal extra anal genital extra genital chancre and 5 to 10 percent of primary lesions lips tongue nipple breast finger and the hands the regional lymph node is painless unilateral or bilateral inguinal lymphadenopathy it is discrete firm rubbery and not painful not tender unless the secondary infected here is a collection again for the shankar it's a clinical criteria which is very very important to know very very important shankar single baneless genital ulcer with sloping edge indurated base red clean floor o serum genital extra genital the regional lymph node is baneless very very important to know shankar here is the shankar in the penis which is a single painless genital ulcer in the lip and the tongue the, genit the extra genital chancre in the lip and in the tongue which is single painless ulcer and also it's a very important knowledge to know the special type of chancre very very important first kissing chancre on contiguous surface like scrotum and thigh mixed chancre and chancroid which is painful condom chancre at the root of penis of those wearing condom conceal the hidden chancre intracervical intramural or intraanal vaginic chancre which is chancre mixed with fusiform bacilli and anaerobic spirochete and it causes destruction of the tissue and may affect the old glands or part of the shaft and also there are chancre redox and pseudo chancre redox so it is very 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 important knowledge to know the special type of chancre again kissing chancre mixed chancre condom chancre concealed chancre vaginic chancre and chancre redox the fate of primary syphilis 15 percent will go on to develop the secondary syphilis and 15 percent will go into a latency period any painless genital ulcer should be considered as chancre and until proved otherwise. Chancre is single painless genital ulcer. Diagnosis of chancre very very important to diagnose the chancre clinically. Dark ground examination, direct fluorescence antibody, serological test of syphilis as we say before, say before specific and non-specific test, biopsy to know the histopathology of syphilis especially the end arthritis of trans intradermal tribumnema pallidum color test Identific identification of tribumnema pallidum dark field microscopy and direct fluorescence antibody bcr tissue biopsy serological test in old chancre became positive after one to two weeks following the appearance of chancre the differential diagnosis of chancre is differential diagnosis from genital ulcer because chancre is single painless genital ulcer it's very important 
to know also the differential diagnosis of chancre and how to identify the chancre. Very, very important knowledge to know the differential diagnosis and the identification and the treatment and the fate of chancre. Chancre and chancroid. Chancroid is caused by hemophilus to gray while chancre by tribumnema pallidum incubation period 9 to 90 days and chancroid 3 to 5 days single pain genital ulcer multiple painful chancroid sloping firm indurated base while chancroid rigged soft base not bleed easily chancroid bleed easily lymph node painless in chancroid lymph node tender positive dark ground examination in chancre and negative dark ground examination in chancroid other sexually transmitted ulcer granuloma inguinal lymph granuloma venelia recurrent herpes progenitals and gamma in the herpes it is multiple painful recurrent genital ulcer herpes single painless genital ulcer chancre non-sexually transmitted ulcers escapes herpes zoster traumatic fixed drug eruption basic disease tb squamous cell carcinoma of penis erosive balanites then we will shift to the secondary stage of syphilis secondary syphilis the clinical manifestations of secondary syphilis appear within six months and disappear without therapy within a month and it is the stage of generalization basic clin clinical criteria include skin rash mucus lesion condyloma lata generalized lymph node enlargement and other features the skin rash syphilis involved skin in more than 80 percent of the case the rash is polymorphic widely and symmetrically distributed but it is never vesicular the very important knowledge to know that it is polymorphic lesions but never 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 vesicular very important to know to know this knowledge it is never vesicular type of skin rash include macular papular papuloscoemus bustular and never vesicular and the eruptions is usually indolent healing take place in 4 to 80 to 12 weeks without scarring hypopigmentation which is called leukodermia syphilitica which is located on the neck and persists for life it is never vesicular here is the skin rash which is polymorphic and never vesicular never this is also a type a picture for the polymorphic skin eruption which is never vesicular condyloma lata syphilitic moist papule it is the most infectious syphilitic lesion and it is laden with spirochetes it is a flat topped moist hypertrophic sessile papules or cauliflower like mass appear at the mucocutaneous junction especially in the very region vulva and scrotum and it's very important to differentiate, very, very important to differentiate condyloma lata from condyloma acuminata. Because condyloma acuminata, it is a human papilloma virus. It is a genital wart. Genital wart. Condyloma lata caused by tribumnema pallidum, acuminata by human papilloma virus. It is fleshy, dull, red, or gray, with flat, moist, smooth surface, sessile, indurated base while in condyloma acuminata it is skin color rough rucous dry surface bedunculated and soft base not bleed easily condyloma lata bleed easily acuminata dark ground examination positive serological test positive while in condyloma acuminata not bleed easily it is bleed in condyloma lata not bleed easily condyloma acuminata bleed easily with negative dark examination treatment in the condyloma lata is penicillin while in condyloma acuminata 25 percent bodofillin in alcohol so it is very 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 important to know the genital wart genital wart which is condyloma acuminata it's caused by human papilloma virus and the most serious complication of condyloma lata acuminata which is the genital wart is cancer cervix condyloma acuminata genital wart caused by human papilloma virus and the most serious complication is cancer cervix and if she is the female in female which having condyloma acuminata and genital wart she cannot deliver vaginally but it have to deliver caesarean not deliver vaginally 
the treatment option can cryotherapy, electrocautery, and 25% bodofilin and alcohol, but in pregnant women, contraindication to use bodofilin in alcohol to treat condyloma acuminata or genital wart in a pregnant woman. Not use bodofilin in pregnant woman, but can use any type, chemical or cryotherapy, which is the best. Cryotherapy is the best to treat condyloma acuminata, genital wart in a pregnant woman. Cryotherapy, not use bodofilin. So condyloma acuminata, genital wart caused by human papilloma virus, it is the most the most serious complication is cancer cervix. And if she is pregnant woman having condyloma acuminata and cannot deliver vaginally, can also deliver caesarea. The mucus patch, rounded, regular, grayish white pseudomembrane edged by a dull red areola and liable to ulcerate snail tract ulcers on the tongue may occur inside the lip. Mucus patch in the urethra may cause urethral discharge. Lymph node, generalized lymphadenopsy, inguinal, axillary, cervical, postauricular groups, enlarged lymph node, discrete, mobile, and painless. Painless. Lymph node is painless. Other feature, any organ of the body may be involved, hair, liver, bones, lung. Diagnose of secondary syphilis, history clinical examination, dark ground examination from the skin lesion, serological tests are 100% positive, CCF examination, cerebrospinal fluid examination positive in 20 to 20 of cases, and the histopathology. Fate of secondary syphilis, 30% of cases, the disease burn itself and it's called burn it out syphilis, which is the disease disappear and serological test revert to non-reactive. 30 cases continue to have a positive serological test with good health, latent syphilis, 20 bust to benign tertiary syphilis, and 20% bus to malignant syphilis, cardiovascular, and neurosyphilis. Relapsing syphilis. Relapsing syphilis, there are many types of relapse, mucocutaneous relapse, shankar redox, which is the recurrence of shankar in its original, original site. And we speak before about the specific type and the types of shankar, which is kissing shankar, concealed shankar, vaginic shankar, shankar redox. Shankar redox, it is the recurrence of shankar in its original site. Recurrence of shankar in its original site. Very important knowledge to know shankar redox and later on to know pseudo shankar redox. Shankar redox, recurrence of shankar in its original site. Serological relapse, the non tribunimal antigen test become positive after have become negative. Other the ocular and transplacental hepatic relapse. Latent syphilis, early latent syphilis which is con infectious and confirmed to the first two years. Late latent which is non-infectious with the exhibition of the possibility of transplacental infection and transmission of infection by blood transfusion. And after secondary stage of syphilis, the untreated patients enter, the, enter to the latency. Late tertiary syphilis, there are late latent syphilis, which is mentioned before, benign tertiary syphilis, which is the late benign syphilis, cardiovascular syphilis, and the neurosyphilis. The quantry syphilis include cardiovascular and the neurosyphilis. Late syphilis, late latent, again, benign late syphilis gamma, skin mucous membrane gamma, supporting the structure gamma, internal organs gamma, cardiovascular and the neurosyphilis. The benign tertiary syphilis start 5 to 10 years after infection and the lesions are rarely infectious. The characteristic lesion is granuloma, which is gold gamma, 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 four, three types classification, gamma of skin mucous membrane, gamma of internal organs, gamma of supporting structures. Gamma of the skin, nodular lesion, squamous or psoriasiform, subcutaneous gamma, and very important to know, Sudo Shankar Rodox. Sudo Shankar Rodox, it is a solitary gamma, 
at the side of previous chunker. Here is the gamma on the penis. Gamma of mucous membrane, perforation of nasal septum, perforation of hard palate and uvula, stenosis of pharynx and larynx, late syphilis of the tongue which is localized, may be localized or diffuse. Gamma of internal organ, the liver, hyperlobatum, stomach, lesser bottle stomach, testis, billard bowl testicle, the gamma involves the skin and it ulcerate on the anterior wall of the scrotum. Gamma ulcerate on the anterior wall of scrotum. Also, this, there is paroxysmal called hemoglobinuria. Syphilis is one of the rare cause of this acquired type of hemolytic anemia. Gamma of supporting structure, the bone osteoperiostitis and of the long bone, and the periostites flung bones like tibia, fibula, warm eating appearance, syphilitic osteomyelitis of the bone of the skull, the joint, synovitis, arthritis, so swollen rubbery joints with no signs of inflammation. Diagnosis of syphilitic gamma, history clinical picture, histopathology, positive serology, and cerebrospinal fluid examination. Neurosyphilis occur in less than 10% of cases. Majority of, majority of neurosyphilis is asymptomatic. Asymptomatic neurosyphilis, meningovascular neurosyphilis, parenchymatous neurosyphilis, tibis dorsalis, general bariz of insane, prognosis of neurosyphilis, generally good except for tibis dorsalis and general bariz of insane. Cardiovascular syphilis, 10% of late untreated syphilis develop cardiovascular, include uncomplicated aortitis, coronary osteostenosis, aortic incompetence, aortic aneurysm, heart block. Diagnosis of cardiovascular, clinical picture, X-ray, barium swallow, serological test positive in 80%, cerebrospinal fluid examination to exclude neurosyphilis, its prognosis tissue damage is irreversible. Perinatal and congenital syphilis. Perinatal congenital syphilis. It is the second type of syphilis. The first type we speak about the acquired syphilis. Primary stage, which includes chancre. Secondary stage, gamma. And the late secondary stage, condyloma later. Tertiary stage, which includes the gamma. Again, the types of syphilis. Acquired and congenital. Acquired, the primary stage, chancre. Secondary stage, condyloma later. Tertiary stage, the gamma. Here we will speak about the congenital syphilis. The very, very important knowledge to know that clinical manifestation of congenital syphilis, there is no primary stage. So there is no chancre. No chancre in congenital syphilis. The manifestation include early perinatal syphilis, late perinatal syphilis, and the stigmata. Early perinatal syphilis occur during the first two years and the lesions are infectious. Early perinatal syphilis general feature look like old men look. Mucous membrane lesion, mucous membrane lesion, batches in mouse, pharynx, larynx, aphonic cry, skin lesion, symmetrical rash similar to this of acquired syphilis, but there is maybe bolus rash. Bolus rash and the vesicle which is very infectious in early perinatal congenital syphilis, condyloma later, bone, liver, kidney, eye, generalized lymphadenopathy, and meningitis. Early perinatal syphilis to diagnose by dark field microscopy, serological test, very, very important to know as we speak before about FTA, ABS, 19S, IgM, tribumnimal specific antibody, which is a large molecule and cannot cross the placenta. The IgM not cross the placenta. However, IgG can cross the placenta. So it is the specific IgM, FTA, ABS, 19S IgM. Value as evidence of congenital infection. Detection of spirochete by BCR, biological and CCF examination. 
late perinatal syphilis manifestation develop after the second years of life the lesion are not infection and resemble to the acquired syphilis gamma late symptomatic congenital syphilis interstitial keratitis neurosyphilis ear infection skin and the mucous membrane and, uh, involvement similar to that acquired tertiary syphilis gamma colitis joints bone involvement which characteristic shape called sabri sabri tibia localized osteoporosis in the skull called paroxysmal paroxysmal called hemoglobinuria visceral and cardiovascular involvement is rare late perinatal syphilis diagnosis of late perinatal it's very difficult and depend on through history clinical examination result of serological test both reagent and specific are of marginal health. Stigmata of perinatal syphilis, scar and deformities, which occur as a sequence of early and late congenital syphilis, stigmata of early lesion, saddle nose, high arched palates, heart chones, teeth, moon molars appearing, rigid, sold and paper fundus, stigmata of late lesion, corneal obesity, barot nodes, eight nerve deafness, sabri tibia, tibia, optic atrophy, gameta scar, Perforation of hard palate or of the nasal septum, interstitial keratitis, Hutchinson's teeth, and eight nerve deafness, which form the Hutchinson triad. Hutchinson triad, interstitial keratitis, Hutchinson's teeth, and eight nerve deafness. Here is again and again the stigma of perinatal syphilis, early lesion, saddle nose, high arched palate, short maxilla, look like bulldog, Hutchinson's teeth. Moon molar, rigidus, paper and salt fundus, onychia, stigmata of late lesions, corneal obesity, optic atrophy, sabri tibia, frontal bossing, eight nerve deafness, and perforation of nasal septa. Diagnosis of perinatal congenital syphilis, clinical radiological tribumnima baldum by dark ground and 19S IgM FTA ABS. Management of syphilis. Always search if you found one sexually transmitted disease, you have to search for other sexually transmitted disease, bacterial, viral, HIV, fungal, protozoa. Management of syphilis, sexual contact should be forbidden and penicillin is the drug of choice on all stage of disease. Penicillin treatment for acquired syphilis is stage of syphilis. In the early syphilis, primary, secondary, early, latent, benzacine, penicillin G, 2.4 million unit intramuscular once, aquas broken penicillin G, 1.2 million unit intramuscular daily for 10 days. In late latent and the late benign syphilis, in benzacine, penicillin G, 2.4 million unit intramuscular once per week for 3 weeks, aquas broken penicillin G, 1.2 million unit intramuscular daily for 20 days. Cardiovascular neurocephalus, aquas broken penicillin G, 1.2 million unit intramuscular daily for 20 days, and in neurocephalus, 1.2 million unit intramuscular daily plus propensate 500 milligram for 10 to 8 days to increase the tubular, renal tubular secretion of penicillin. Alternative treatment of acquired early acquired syphilis other than penicillin. Alternative treatment of early acquired syphilis, primary, secondary, and early latent, doxycycline, 100 mg twice daily for 14 days, tetracycline, 500 mg four times daily for 14 days, ceftriaxone, 1 gram intramuscular or intravenous once daily for 8 to 10 days, or azithromycin, 2 gram as a single dose in resistant reported. So the drug of a choice in treatment of syphilis is benzillin. Alternative treatment include doxycycline, tetracycline, ceftriaxone, azithromycin. Alternative treatment, late latent and non-duration cardiovascular gamma syphilis retreatment of primary secondary syphilis, doxycycline 100 mg twice daily for 28 days, tetracycline 500 mg four times daily, for 28 days. Treatment re regimen for congenital syphilis if abnormal cerebrospinal fluid aquas benzillin G 
50,000 international kilogram intravenous every 12 hours for the first 7 days, then every 8 hours for 3 days, broken penicillin. If there is normal cerebrospinal fluid, benzacine penicillin, 15,000 unit per kilogram intramuscular in, in a single dose, congenital syphilis of 2 or more years, aquas penicillin G, other regimen should be used for children over the age of 15. In aquas penicillin G in normal CCF, the 2 million international per kilogram per day intravenous or intramuscular, the aquas, aquas penicillin G 200,000 to 300,000 international unit per kg per day intravenous or intramuscular administrated as 15,000 international unit per kilogram per dose every 4 6 hours for 10 to 14 days. We will repeat it. The treatment reaction includes the jerk hereximide reaction, which is an acute febrile reaction. The second, therapeutic paradox. The third, the penicillin reaction immediate and delayed. The fourth, the broken reaction. And the fifth, vasovagal attack vent. Here we, we end the syphilis lecture. This is the end of syphilis lecture. Some question, chunker of 5 days duration can be diagnosed by dark ground microscopy. Concealed syphilitic chunker. It is intracervical, intramuetal or intrachunker. Syphilis dembele means syphilis. Candom chunker is located in the root. Condyloma lata is caused by tribalidum. Clinical feature of secondary syphilis may include polymorphic skin rash. Shankar of 5 day duration can be diagnosed by dark ground micro. Jerk hereximide reaction is due to a hypersensitivity reaction to the product of turbomnema destroyed by penicillin. And lastly, there is a case scenario. You are a medical student on the Andrology Outpatient Clinic. A 20 year old patient coming to the Andrology Clinic with a single painless lesion on genitalia. Examination show oval ulcer 2 cm in diameter with sloping edge and indurated base with enlarged inguinal lymph node. Enumerate four possible causes of this genital lesion. What is the most probable diagnosis of this case? Two important investigation and better treatment of this case. As we say before, single painless genital ulcer chunker. Single painless genital ulcer chunker. Possible cause of this genital lesion may be herpes progenital, chancroid, granuloma inguinal, lymph granuloma venereal, scabies, TB, basic, traumatic, and malignant ulcer. The diagnosis is chunker of primary syphilis. Possible investigation, dark field, microscopic examination, and direct fluorescence antibody test, BCR, and serological test in all chunker, tissue biopsy, and the gram stain. Treatment, as we say before, benzacine benzillin, 2.4 million unit, intramuscular single dose, broken benzillin, 1.2 million unit, intramuscular for 10 days, the alternative for benzillin, doxycycline, 100 milligram, Tracycline 500 mg 4 times per day for 14 days as estromycin as a single dose. Lastly, the summary syphilis is a chronic infection caused by tribomnema pallidum. The first the organism enters through the skin. The first lesion appears locally inflammatory reaction, which is chunker, then the stage of secondary syphilis or for your attention for the syphilis lecture. And this is our reference, the box, the sexually transmitted disease, the fourth edition. And thank you 